Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta, and today we'll understand how to do model deployment in RapidMiner. Basically, once you have created a model, you want this model to put in the production process. And how we can do this? Let's see. Now, what are the advantages of model deployment? A deployment organizes your model and keeps essential data together in one place. A deployment tracks the performance of your model over the time, alerting you to drift and biases which are happening. A deployment can be shared by a group collaborating on a common project. A deployment provides web services so that you can integrate it, integrate it with other softwares. Now, how we can do this? Let's see. So, from process uh, area, you will click on deployments. You will click on new. A menu will appear. So, it Ask for the name and description. Make sure that whenever you give the name, the name should be very unique. Unique names should be given for each location. So here, I am, say for example, I am just writing down Dhawal Mehta. And here, I will specify that it is model. Press next. Now it will ask me the details that the model deployment is to be done on local or remote. So it asks for that you are going to store the model in on a local or remote. So if you are having this problem that is it a local or a remote we want. So you should ask these three questions. Will the deployment need the web service in production process or not? Will there be a collaboration with others in the production process? Is this deployment going to run continuously? If any of them is yes, you will go for remote. So at present, we are just going for activating local one. So I'll activate local, press next. Now I will save this in one of the folders. Make sure you create the new folder and the folder must be empty. So I specify create new folder and this is I want to write down here as deployments. Click OK. And the folder is ready. Press next. So if you want to activate the monitoring of deployed model, you will do the tick here. And if it is not necessary, that you don't want to monitor it, don't take. And I'll press here, create the location. Now the location is ready. Now I will go here in add deployment. And I'll say that the deployment is churn, the churn data set. And it will ask me which type of problem is it. It is a classification or a regression. So I'll activate classification, click OK. And you can see that. It is giving me the total scores, active deployments, weekly scores, alerts, and the name of the data. Now, once I've reached here, I'll press this add, sorry, I'll press this churn and deploy the auto model. Now, I'll activate the predict. So, basically, it is a prediction problem. And I'll specify the target variable, which is churn. I'll press next, next, next. And I'll select that this is a, uh, the model which I'm going to run is logistic regression. And this is entry random forest. I'll not select all of them because it will take a lot of time. So I'll run the model from here. Now, once the model running process is completed, it will generate the classification error as well as the accuracy. So we will select the base model from here and, from, and we can see here that classification accuracy of the decision entry is maximum. So we'll go into decision entry, activate the performance. And now you can see here that this deploy button, which was inactive is active. Press the deploy. So decision entry, name is given as decision entry. I'll specify churn 
press next. You can choose a local rep rep uh, repository. So it has been done on its own. Press next. So you can select from here. Press next. Churn is active. Add the mod. And you can see the model is ready for deployment. Now for the scoring purpose, you will go in the scoring, score the data, and again, you will bring the same model here. So I'll go in data, customer churn data, which I have considered, score the data and I'll get the scores from here. So, you can export the scores. So if you activate the model again, it will discard this existing uh, scores. So I'll say proceed. So this is a way you can deploy the model in RapidMiner. So for more videos on RapidMiner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of RapidMind.